Okay, uh, just a quick video to demonstrate um, the program running on the Windows PC. Uh, you can get it for Windows, you can get it for Mac. Um, I believe for Ubuntu and other OSs there are sort of alternative softwares by different names. Uh, but today this is just a quick demonstration of Air Server. An Air Server is basically uh, a server, a piece of software you run on the PC, and what that'll do is um, run a server which can accept the AirPlay standard, which is Apple's um, proprietary proprietary uh, implementation of a kind of mirrorcast kind of streaming. So it'll let you stream pictures, videos, music from the iOS device uh, to the PC where the server's running, essentially uh, negating the need for an Apple TV, which is great because, let's face it, we don't all want one of those and we've already paid enough for our devices anyway. So it's running in the background, um, this is just the video to demonstrate it running uh, in conjunction with XBMC, or should I say Kodi, as it's now called. Uh, so it's running in the background and hopefully it should stay out of the way, it's running in the sys tray, and this is just going to be a quick demo of how it works. Uh, so on the iDevice, you'll just simply, you know, once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, you want to hit AirPlay, and just hit uh, the destination, which will be the media PC. That's the name I've given this one. And um, with any luck, we're, we should be streaming away. So just quickly go to the Photos app, and just pick a random photo. It will pretty crazy. Uh, so I'm just going to tap one, and there we go. Uh, you can see the mouse cursor's there. Um, there, it's disappeared actually. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I think we should drop out of that by just coming either out of the whole entire app on iOS. Uh, yeah, we'll drop back to XBMC, and it's retained its focus. So that's great. Moving around. Okay, uh, so that's pictures. Mm, just demonstrate that again with a couple of pictures we'll go through so let me see uh, pick a picture here so there it is on the iPad and there it is on the screen I'm gonna scroll through like this on the iPad and this will work with I think any iDevice which is running iOS 6 or later um, as long as you have AirPlay switched on and you're on the same network uh, you should be good to go. Good to go! Uh, video, let me think. So let's get a video going. So uh, when you've selected the video, it will sit there on the screen. It won't actually automatically play. I don't think. So if you then hit play, it will say now that it's playing on the PC. And. Uh, then it starts. So that's basically it. Uh, it'll sit there on the iDevice and you can scroll through the timeline as you normally would on any video on iOS. Um, hopefully it'll pick up on the PC. So there we go. Drop out of that by pressing back and we're back into Kodi. Moving around as usual, focus is retained. All good. Uh, Music. Let's have a look at that. As I say, the reason I'm doing this video is there aren't too many videos demonstrating Air Server uh, on YouTube at the moment, and especially not um, in conjunction with Cody, so I thought it was about time. Uh, we'll just pick a song. This is using the, using the stock iOS uh, music app. So it's not sending a message to Cody particularly just rather to the air server software running in the background so we won't get any notification about tracks that are playing or anything like that um, you know but it's good enough and uh, all the usual stuff I believe works like skipping forward next track last track etc no problem ok we'll just stop that you can also stop stuff obviously with the uh, control center bar down the bottom there. so I'll just pause that uh, last but not least, videos. Give a quick shot of that. Uh, so these are videos which I've downloaded through YouTube. 
um, the iOS, the iPad here is jailbroken so we can download videos from YouTube and I've just downloaded some there, they sit in the videos app so that's going to work pretty much the same way it will show that it's playing on the iPad and then up on the screen and that's pretty much it, if I drop out of that hopefully it should return to Kodi um, yeah, there's been a few cases where I've played a video, for instance using this videos app dropped back out of it by using the done button on the iDevice and it's returned me to a black screen I hope, let's see if that happens here yeah um, so what I did before was I literally would choose another picture to airplay and once that's removed from the screen then it would return to Cody no problem um, but what I think happened or what I discovered the other night was if you leave it sitting there at the black screen I think within 20 or 30 seconds it uh, it will clear the black screen which is essentially the air server app still running but with no content in it so it's just a frame uh, so hopefully pretty shortly it should return to Cody just waiting on that okay Just a little longer to see if that happens. Hmm, nothing yet. So back to my previous solution which was just to play another picture. Beam that to the screen and then clear that and you'll be back to Cody. There we go. Alright, that's everything. I think it's um, something like £5 for the software, which is, you know, pretty good. It does support uh, support mirroring, uh, but that's um, a little choppy in my in my experience. It obviously depends on your Wi-Fi connection, but uh, mine's pretty decent, and I really, I really thought it was under par. If you want reliable AirPlay mirroring, I reckon probably the Apple TV is uh, a better option. I've tried other... Um, airplay mirroring alternatives software implementations uh, on the PC and uh, I think which one Air Parrot I think it was called was quite good uh, the Splash Top software was pretty good as well um, probably a better frame rate and a better, better um, picture quality but um, again they're, I think they're a bit more expensive and this is pretty reliable and pretty stable so if you're looking for that, I would go for it. Uh, so that's everything. I'm just going to switch that off now. Okay, thanks for watching.